Hello and welcome back to Genshin Impact. Today I am on my free to play old account where I recently failed to get Alicino. Yeah, in my last video on this account I lost the 50-50 to Mona and then had basically nothing left. No Primal Gems, no Fates, nothing. Um, but I'm not willing to give up on Alicino quite yet. As long as the banner is still up, there's still a chance I just have to somehow get more Primal Gems. And thankfully there are a lot of areas still on this account that I haven't explored yet. So a lot of Primal Gems just lying around waiting to be collected. And yeah, if you take a look at the wishing screen real quick, then you can see that over the last few days I actually managed to get a decent amount of Primal Gems. Uh, yeah, over a thousand. Almost enough for a tempo. Mainly got it from exploring Watatsumi Island and Tsurumi Island. But of course a tempo is not nearly enough to actually guarantee Alicino. I need way more Primal Gems. So that's why today I'm gonna unlock a new area for me to explore. An ancient realm deep under the sea. A realm that once had a powerful god who eventually died. An area of many chests and a long world quest. And the entrance lies on an island. I'm of course talking about... Enkanumia. I mean, what did you think? Remuria? No. Okay, but jokes aside, um, I just want to take my time with Remuria and uh, go through it at my own pace and not just rush through it for Primal Gems. So yeah, I'm just gonna explore old areas, not the new area. Especially since, like I said, I still have some areas left to explore and Enkanomia is one of them. I actually specifically saved Enkanomia um, for exactly a situation like this where I desperately need Primal Gems. I already did the quest to unlock Enkanomia a while ago. But yeah, now it's finally time to unlock it and hopefully Get a decent amount of Primal Gems. I'm gonna go through there with the interactive map and get every single chest, every puzzle, everything. But yeah, to actually unlock Enkanomiya, I think I have to talk to Tsuyokui here. So let's do that. Hello there. Okay, I'm not actually gonna bother reading all this because I've already done all of it on my main account. I'm really just here for the Primal Gems, so let's just skip through it. Oh, I haven't done everything yet. Right, there was still more to this quest. I thought, uh, oh, I thought it was already at the part where I just have to talk to her once more and then jump down there, but, well, um, turns out I still have more to do before actually unlocking Enkonomiya. Okay, now we should be at the point where we actually just have to talk to her one more time and then we can jump down to Enkonomiya. Yeah, there we go. Finally. Now without further ado, here we go. And we are finally in Enkanomiya. There aren't any chests here in the first room, right? Okay, so let's just proceed. First teleporter. Quest completed. 30 Primal Gems. We love to see it. Another 5 for the teleporter. Already making progress on my Alicino funds. And I see a chest there already. And yeah, like I said, I'm gonna go through here with the interactive map and get every single Primal Gem that Enkanomiya has to offer. I started off with, well, almost 1,500, now over 1,500. Let's see how many primary gems I'm gonna have at the end. So with that being said, enjoy this chest opening montage. Okay, the starting area of Enkonomiya is done. 
And now we actually get to the main part. So far there were only common chests, so not that many primal gems, but we also got some achievements, which is nice. So, yeah, we are making progress. That is still beautiful. Not the first time I've seen it, but doesn't change the fact that Ankenomir's whole design is just amazing. But, you know, environmental design in Genshin, just in general, is top-notch. Oh, and we actually got some more Primal Gems from the quest here. Is that enough for a temple? It is. Oh, maybe I should do one right now, since I just unlocked Ankenomir. You have this amazing view here. Let's just do it. Maybe I can end the farming right here. Let's see. Come on, please. Nope, just a foster. Okay, I mean, that was to be expected. I'm basically at zero pity. Is it gonna be one of her children at least? Yes, it's Lynette. Okay, that's an improvement over my previous post where I didn't even get any of her children. I got, just got Changling. And I mean, Changling is a better character than Lynette, of course, but it was kind of a bad omen that I didn't get Lynette or Femine before the 5 star, and then the 5 star was I lost 50 50, so yeah. So I actually see this as a good sign getting Lynette here. And she is the only 4 star, okay. I mean, better than nothing, I guess. And now I'm basically back at zero again. And 11 pity now, if I am not mistaken. Yeah, I had one pity. I was 50 to Mona, so now I'm at 11. Still need a lot more Primal Gems to get to soft pity again. But I think it's possible. Definitely gonna continue exploring in Kanomiya and opening all of the chests here. But yeah, for now I think it's enough. Just wanted to give you an update on how my farming is going for Alecino. So yeah, you can look forward to me doing some more Alecino roles, definitely, before her banner ends. Now with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And yeah, have a nice day.